What does a Filipino supermodel look like? Because Berlina is the Philippines' first virtual model and influencer, but she's raising some questions. Yeah, this is going viral right now. Long story short, all around the world, but particularly Asia, Andrew, companies are designing AI influencers to have Instagrams to sell products. Now, the first hyper-realistic model debuted for the Philippines called Berlina, but she's sparking a lot of controversy. Yeah, a lot of different conversations about beauty standards and who's making them and Colonial. this and globalization let's talk about it guys we're going to go through the reactions and then we're going to go through our takeaways and the major questions that berlina's existence is raising and this doesn't have to do with ai really it's more about beauty standards so please hit that like button right now check out other episodes of the hot pop boys let's get into some of the internet comments straight from the philippines she looks like a korean she does not look like a Filipina. Does she even look like a Mestiza? She does not even look like a Mestiza. What is going on with these beauty standards? Is it weird that you look just like every other virtual model? Yeah, a lot of the virtual models actually do kind of look the same, guys. I think somebody got to address that in 2.0. Um, Andrew, somebody said, even the non-human Filipino models look white. It's not just Miss Philippines. It's not just the beauty contestants that don't look Filipino. Even the cyborgs. Okay, so real quick, we got to ask, does Berlina actually look like a real person? Does she look like other models that exist? Bitch, does she, or does she just, she looks like kind of Uzbekistan. Right, like she, she kind of looks... looks Almost not like a real person, almost like Final Fantasy, like a Bratz doll, sort of. But, yeah, you're right, Andrew. Kazakh could be. Yeah. Um, I would say she looks like she has a Chinese, or no, no, Japanese Filipino dad and a Scandinavian mom. Well, there's some other models that do exist in real life that she kind of looks like. Uh, Rina Fukishi is a half Filipino, half Japanese model. Lily Mack is part Filipino. Uh, Jessica Vu is an e-girl because I would say that, you know, this girl, uh, Berlina, has some e-girl aesthetics yeah, to her, which is very trendy style. right now. Um, Olivia Rodrigo, I believe, is like 40% Filipino, and she kind of looks like her too, but not fully. I mean, I think it brings up a lot of talks about colonialism and like, you know, uh, I guess like what? White worship, right? Because some of the Miss Philippines contestants in the past, Andrew, have only been half Filipino themselves. Well, you know, the uh, the people who made Berlina said that they based her face off of a hundred different attractive Filipino faces, right? Whatever they count as attractive. And then they also gave her features that Filipinos would desire. So this was kind of the controversial part yeah, they, because they're saying that this is what Filipinos want. Now, obviously, there's a lot of more darker skinned Filipinos in the Philippines. That's probably the majority of people. However, maybe the famous people, the people in media, maybe the people that they took the faces from were lighter skinned. Right. It's a little bit of like, I guess, a situation potentially like Mexico yeah. where obviously everybody has an idea of what a Mexican uh, I guess mestizo mixed look looks like, but obviously a lot of the people in Mexican media are almost like blonde, like full Spanish blood, right? Yeah, do you think, Andrew, that the, some of the programmers are like, hey guys, this is just what people ask for. I was just trying to design an AI influencer that's like a lot of people like, that's what you want. Now you're mad at me. What the F? Well, I could see why people are kind of mad because they're like, you could have made any Filipino in the world. You could make her look like anything and then you didn't even make her look Filipino at all. <laughs> right, I read this comment breaking down how a Filipino should look from somebody on the internet, by the way, not my words. They said 50 to 70% of the people in the Philippines yeah. look Austronesian, but with some slight traces of Chinese, Spanish, and Indian. Uh, 15 to 20% look Chinoy, which is Chinese Filipino, either half Chinese or full Chinese. Um, sort of like this guy who owns Jollibee's. Chinoy is funny, that's yeah, a funny. Chinoy it's funny. 5% have significant European ancestry. And of that 5%, Andrew, that 5% is heavily overrepresented in TVs, movies, and advertisements. All right. So everybody, by this point in the video, please let us know in the comments down below if you think that there is a typical Filipino look. Is there a celebrity that you can leave in the comments down below that you think is what Berlina should look like if she was trying to represent the Philippines. Oh, right. Also, 5% would look Papuan or Aita, by the way. I mean, moving on, Andrew, do we even American, like, white supermodels that are supposed to represent white people fully look like the, like, the median uh, person or, well, you know, or not? Here's the thing about supermodels or fashion models. They sometimes kind of have this, this look. Like, if you look at these pictures of Heidi Klum, Giselle, and uh, Melania Trump... Like, they kind of have these sleek eyes. I don't want to say Asian eyes exactly, but they're kind of sleek. Fox-like. Fox-like eyes, right? I and would say the first time I saw Melania Trump, like, especially in her older age after, I think, the facelifts, I really thought she was from 
at least turkey or something where I was yeah. like, oh man, definitely part I, Asian. I mean, overall, before we get into talking about what the other Asian virtual models look like, because I'm sure many men out there are curious. Uh, but I mean, basically I, I'm with the commenters, but I just think the goal of this AI generated model was not to represent all Filipinos, but maybe they should make another one. I mean, after all, yeah. what you can't send, uh, you can't, uh, I guess, is it too late for... For Linda to change, right? You can't change her features now. I guess she's already set. Just make another one. Right. Make another one. <laughs> just have her friend. Yeah. Like, just add a friend to Berlina. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Um, but yeah, I, I here is what uh, Bella Porch looks like. Here is what like some of the uh, popular Filipino actresses at the moment look like. So obviously there is a small gap between her and Berlina. I guess Bella Porch would be the middle point. Andrew, let's just get into the virtual AI models from some of the other countries. Leading it off, we've got Korea. The Lot Company, which is famous for making gum and a lot of other household items, has a smart car designer, industrial designer named Lucy. I think it's hilarious that they gave her the job, the the fake degree and everything like <laughs> I think a lot of dudes would like to marry Lucy. It looks like a great Yo, do you wife think material. Some of the some of these AI models are gonna be used as kind of like the models that like people should try strive to become. Like they're trying to tell women, like, hey, be a scientist. Oh, I thought you were gonna say scientist. that those they were gonna be the baseline where they build the cyborgs off of them. Oh. Maybe that too. Yeah, yeah who I knows? Know. Um, Korea also has a Gen Z edgy fashion influencer called Rosie. To satisfy all the different styles. Hey, still no tattoos though. That would, nah, that would nah, be crossing nah, the nah, confusion nah. She's line. not going to start smoking either. Uh, Japan has Emma. Emma mm. Graham. Obviously very Harajuku, very cyberpunk, very like, uh, I forgot that old game on Gamecast where it's like, shake, shake. I got to say, Japan's virtual model game is pretty on point. Hey, they even started including uh, men Virtual influencers. What was that? What was the guy's uh, name? Plastic Boy. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, interestingly, Mongolia has a hyper-realistic uh, virtual AI model and a very outdoorsy, very street, <laughs> which is like sort of, I guess, I guess how you imagine Mongolia. China has Ayayi mm. and sort of has this like very um, non-smiling expression that I know is very popular amongst Chinese female influencers. Man, I, I definitely have seen some Chinese girls who look like this and are making this exact facial expression. Oh, Vietnam has M. M is a honorific for a, I believe, a older than you female. And uh, yeah, kind of looks like Michelle Fan mm. a little bit. So shout out to M. I guess, long story short, man, Andrew, what do you think about the uh, controversies that like these AI models do or do not spark? Uh, yeah, I think it comes down to representation. And obviously there's people who feel like that their look just doesn't get represented. I mean, like we've seen in Bollywood, traditionally, and I think it's changing a little bit now, but traditionally, those people are generally like, generally North Indian, Punjabi. They're a little oh, bit lighter right. skin. They look a little bit more like Arabs or possibly Latinos, you right. know? Uh, like that's the dominant look that comes out of India in, in terms of uh, media representation. Yes, exactly. So everybody's looking for uh, media representation. And I think it's a conversation all around the globe as media becomes even more prevalent. Like there's more media than ever. So people are like, well, if there's gonna be all these computer generated models, can you make some of them look like us? Right, and I look think, like the average person in a country, right? And I think that is a completely fair ask and I'm with them. And I, my whole thing is like, they don't have to look average in terms of looks, but they should look like they're p potentially like from the average group. Hey man, maybe so someone's gotta make the ugly virtual model. Oh, I don't know. Like a really fat, like chubby. I, I, like know, still I know jolly that person. I don't feel represented by these virtual models unless we're talking about that Hong Kong triad game, Sleeping Dogs. That's the only time I've seen somebody who looks like me get represented. All right, everybody, you let us know in the comments down below what you think about all this. Um, are these legit questions? Also, what is a Filipino person supposed to look like in 2023 since the country has such a mixed history? Yeah, Berlina, do you mind hitting a tanning booth or something? Hmm? All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. We are the Hot Pop Boys, and until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.